Hey y'all, welcome back to another Macro Monday edition of Hopped Up Beer Review. Today we are drinking Münchner Gold by Hacker Shore out of Munich, Germany. Thanks for joining us. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give your own professional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. We are back to do that again, and it is a Macro Monday, everybody's favorite Monday, the first Monday of each month. We go back and review a macro or a new macro, maybe, that we've never had. I've got Andy in the attic. I've got Jay. I am Ben. What are we going to do for Macro Monday today, gentlemen? Hacker Shore. The Municher Gold. Did I do that right, Andy? Munchner. Munchner. Cool. But it means Munich, so. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, I'm sure you're going to tell us why this is a macro. Oh, you're going to be so sure. Yeah, I, I I want to hear that. Not to be hacker sure, but sure. <laughs> you like that play, huh? Ah. Uh, All right. I will say I'm a fan of tap handles and they've got one of the tap handles that I really like. I don't have it yet, but I really want to get it. I'll show it here. Why does it have like the angel on there? No, I don't have the angel. It's got, um, I think it's one of their, I think it's an Oktoberfest top tap handle and it's got basically a, a bar made holding some beers. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Food, Germany. <laughs> well, being a Macro Monday, we got a lot to talk about. This specifically is a Dortmunder style beer. We've had a Dortmund or two on the show. It's a lager and it's malt forward. True. Sweetness of a German Pellis, but with a little bitter uh, base of like a German Pilsner. Not so much like a Czech Pilsner. That's a little more bitter base, but medium hops, low malt. Five and a half percent, 15 IBUs. Similar to the Munchner Hell, Hellas, but it's got a higher ABV and a maltier note to it. The malts they get from Swabia and Bavaria. Uh, Swabia is another region um, in Germany. Uh, they use the Martha, Marth, Grace, and Catamaran barley. Hops are Hallertauer, Hercules, and Hallertauer tradition. It is named... Munich Gold or Münchner Gold due to receiving two radiant landmarks at the end of the 19th century or acknowledgments. So the first landmark, Jay, you already mentioned, the angel, the golden angel of peace they is referred to as the Friedensengel. It's a monument that was, uh, I guess, established and uh, in 1896 is a reminder of the 25 peaceful years after the France-German War of 1870-71 time period. And Ben was alluding to it. You probably can't see it as well on my camera, but maybe on Ben's. On, on the bottle, there's a little picture, not on the label here, but you see at the bottle, mm -hmm. the bottom of the bottle there. The angel. The Friedensengel. The other acknowledgement of gold that it was the first light beer specialty, Munich gold. So that's considered one of the first light beers hmm. specialty. I, I don't know. Hmm. But this the current beer that we're tasting now is based on an old recipe. So that's it for the beer. 
Tell us about Hacker Shore. Hacker Shore, Munich, dates back to 1417. At that time, it had a different name. It was known as the Hacker Brewery. And it was first mentioned in 1417. So I don't know if it originated then or if it was around before that. The At the site, the site of the original brewery, they still have the Alta's Hacker House. It's a restaurant that was around with the first brewery. Wow. 17 so fast forward to 1793 joseph shore is a brewer and he marries maria Teresa hacker the daughter of the brewer peter paul hacker so joseph shore marries in and then he acquires the brewery in the house and the uh, the restaurant house and there where they live Coincidentally, he founded a separate brewery under his own name in 1820. So 27 years later, after working the brewery, the Hacker Brewery, he's like, hey, I'm going to make another brewery. So that was 1820. 1972, the two breweries, Hacker and Shore, merged to become Hacker Shore Brewery. So the two become one. That was mainly due to some financial issues because that's after following two world wars and inflation. uh, I was going to say, what's the timeline between those? You said 18 what? So 1820 is when Shore Brewery was. He broke out. Yeah. And then. And still had, still helped run the hacker because that's what he entered into. And so that was 1820. And then 1972 is when the two breweries merged to become Hacker Shore. 19, so 1972, yeah, 152 years 152 later. years later, mm-hmm. they, they re-merge. They merge, yeah. Wow. A little backtracking. 1810, Ben, this, this is a date that you should know. What happened September 1810? The uh, marriage... For Octoberfest. Yeah. Uh, hey, you wouldn't know that I said September. Yes. Yeah. So the first Oktoberfest <laughs> occurred. And Shore Brewery was one of the breweries, the one of the six in Munich that got to supply beer for the Oktoberfest. And today the event is held on land that was donated by Joseph Shore. Wow. Wow. Pretty cool. So 2007, they became the first Munich brewery to switch to traditional swing tops, the, the flop tops, but flops. Flops. we don't have the, the flop tops yeah. on this one. Yeah. It is a, a macro. It's technically, it's a subsidiary of Polliner Brewery, which is also there in Munich. I thought there was some some cool little events that uh, that was that was pretty neat that the shore was one of the six for Oktoberfest and he gave the land he's a he was a big guy that, during that time yeah that's yeah. history and the fact that they've been doing it now for that many years since then you know that's still so, like you said one of the six tents you know when I but when I looked at it when they said 1820s, when he made his own brewery, I'm wondering if it was the hacker was at the time because 1810 was, it said 10 years before he formed his own brewery. So I wonder if he had some other dealings going on, but the hacker shore, one of the two was, was in the Oktoberfest. I guess if you get to donate the land, you get for the marriage and the party. Yeah. What a party. I'm sure that was, huh? We're still celebrating every year since. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. And all over the world, not just yeah. in Munich. Exactly. That's true. That's true. Um, all right. That's our uh, that's our information, huh? That's all you yeah. get. Well, that's yeah. good, Andy. Thank that's you. That's good. Yeah. Good, some good info Great. on that one. Of course. Yep. All right. Has anybody had this one particularly? That's what I got to look up. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've done this one. I don't think I've had it. No. This one specifically. And you haven't. Or you have not logged it. 
which I, means I haven't had it. So am I the but only you, one? Is that what you're saying? So you picked no, no, this up, none of right, us have man. had it. Yeah. yeah, I did pick it up. Yeah, okay. I've had. I the, mean, I, I'll go first. I've had another one from Hacker Shore. I still got one in the fridge. Another one of these? No, a. Uh, I didn't bring this one. This was Ben's no. offering. No, Jay, I didn't send him an extra one. <laughs> That's all what you're this is. That's yeah, all yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've had their their Martzen and their uh, Hefeweizen. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think this is a really good beer. Um, uh, did you say this one follows the Bavarian purity law? No, oh, it's got to. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's just what water, malts, and hops. Um, East. Yeah. Um, I, you know, the first few sips, I could actually get some of the the malts out of it. Yeah, like we were talking, it's it's a little bit. It's obviously lighter, but uh, it's not hoppy and it's not really malty. The first few sips had a couple more malt flavor to it. It's kind of mellowed as it's uh, warmed over time. Uh, but it's easy drinking. Reminds me a lot of some of the Hellas's or the lagers that, that we're used to. Uh, very, very smooth. Um, you know, uh, I've got to go with the seven and a half. It's it's a good one. Um, I enjoy it. All right. I'll jump in there and go since Andy did such a stellar job on the research today. Kudos. Stella. Job. Ste- well, I, I, I didn't <laughs> I make go that there. You did. Uh, so that was not something I did. But yeah. Um, <laughs> so I think... Uh, you know, I think it's interesting when you you mentioned that this was more or less kind of the first light beer. Um, I think it definitely has light beer character- specialty. It, it has those characteristics, right? It, I mean, it, it's man, it is easy easy to drink. Uh, <laughs> I only got a little bit left here, um, but I think it has a, a good flavor. It, yeah, Jay, like you said, it, it reminds me a lot of the Hellas Lagers that we had. You know, we've had in the, in the last two um, uh, Brewers Advent calendars that we've done around Christmas time. Um, you know, a, a lot of those, I think, have the the hollow tower, you know, um, uh, hops. So, uh, you know, I think it's a lot of it's, it's a similar flavor to some of those. Um, and obviously the the German water in there, too. You know, you can't discount the German water for sure. Uh, so, but um, I think it's really, I think this would be one that, you know, we, we oftentimes are often like to mention, you know, Hey, keg beer, you know, I think, you know, with the ABV of this one and how easy it is to drink, I think this one would be a great keg beer. Um, you know, obviously can't get it. I don't, we don't even get this in the state of Mississippi, uh, this brewery, as far as I, I can remember. Uh, I think I, I brought this back from Georgia. Um so uh, that being said, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's got a good flavor. It's light, easy to drink. It's one I would drink again uh, multiple times. I'm going to go seven and a half on this one. Andy. I'll make this easy. It will be easy math because I'm going to give it a seven and a half too. It, <laughs> and it, it is, you can definitely, it tastes German, yep. but being a Dortmunder, different from the Hellas, it is, like I said, it's the malt on the first mm. sip. As soon as you they say malt forward, you get, you get that malt, very light hop, I guess more, more hop uh, aroma versus bitter hop taste out of it it's it's a it's a rich type of flavor to it it's uh it's it's deep just again easy to drink and it it tastes heavier than a hellas you can definitely tell it's not like some of the hells that we have it tastes german just like some of the hells did but it is got a deeper heavier taste so it's not like i wouldn't consider this a light beer this is this is tastes more craft 
craft than than light to me. Seven and a half. And more craft than macro. Yeah. In a lot of ways. Yeah. So if you're, you're out there watching this, and I, you probably wouldn't be, but if you're out there watching this and you're kind of new to craft beer, um, this may be one, if you can find it, one that would be, as we sometimes mentioned, a gateway beer into craft, one that you can kind of get used to and, yeah. and warm up to craft before you kind of get there. Get it's the definitely got that Haller Tower smell that odor sense excuse me odor sense bad but the aroma yeah from all those advent calendar beers that we've had that's a very common scent to it yeah aroma that that haller tower hop yeah it's it's interesting because we've had now doing that twice and really getting a bunch of them you know a second time this last year it's really interesting how paying attention to it, you know, that you kind of equate this beer to a lot of the beers that we have in that. And I think it's, again, I mentioned it, it's due to that hot, uh, you know, that that we have, have touched on here. That is going to be a seven and a half for the Munchner gold from Hacker shore here on a macro Monday. Definitely appreciate you checking out this video. Be sure to grab you some Hacker Shore Munchner Gold and give it a shot. Let us know what you think about Munch. it. Munch, 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 Munchner. Munchner. Yeah. Go ahead. Keep going. I usually, it's, it's... I usually don't pronounce the German words. I'll let Andy do that. More enjoyable um, to see you falter. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so, anyway. Uh, Grab it. Let us know what you think. If you've had it, <laughs> leave us a comment about it. What What are you laughing about now? You. Okay. Definitely appreciate you checking out this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers to that notification bell so you can hear me mispronounce other German words in the future. Um, check us out on all our social media links down below in the description. Come say hey in our Hopped Up Beer Review Discord server where the three of us talk about beer and some other things. With the others who have joined us. And lastly, if you have any interest in any Hopped Up Beer Review merch, Jay is going to show you just a small offering of what we have out there on a store that we make no money off of. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> Andy has a shirt on. I mean, come on. Oh, Andy's got a shirt on too. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Uh, for Andy in the attic with the shirt on. And Jay, I'm Ben. <laughs> Cheers, mates. Cheers, Cheers mates. mates. He's always got a shirt on in the attic.